Healthcare executive hates her own policy. This happened years ago. I am an OBGYN in a busy suburb of San Francisco. One of my patients was the vice president of a large health insurance corporation. She was a dynamic executive who climbed the corporate ladder quickly. One of her special talents was reducing health care benefits for patients. She initiated a policy where women who underwent cesarean section would to be discharged in two days rather than the standard four-day hospital stay. Shortly after having in vitro fertilization she found herself pregnant with twins. During one of her office visits I mentioned the new two-day policy. I told her that for some patients it was really rough to be discharged after major surgery in two days and be expected to care for a newborn infant. She just smiled and said that she didn't get where she was in corporate America by giving away money. And patients just needed to suck it up. Health insurance wasn't meant to be a convenience. She was 42 years old and went to full term with her twins. Despite her age she elected to attempt a vaginal delivery because of the quick recovery. Her labor was long and extremely difficult and ended with cesarean section. On day two I went to her room to complete her discharge from the hospital. She said, I'm not leaving. This is inhuman. You can't expect me to go home and take care of twins like this. I can barely walk. All you need to do is write a note in the chart that says I'm having a complication. My stay will be authorized. I told her that would be fraud. And I wouldn't be willing to falsify a medical record. Anyway, about a year later the state of California forced them to reverse the policy. The sad part is she didn't realize her mistake and reverse the policy herself. Until it happens to them, they can't conceive of the need for anything. That is so satisfying. The simple fact that medical treatment and medicine in general is used to make profit for asshats like this is stunning. The dildo of karma rarely arrives lubed. Hot damn. The sheer amount of secondhand satisfaction I got from this was unreal. Love when people have policies that come back to bite them in the ass. I told her that would be fraud. And I wouldn't be willing to falsify a medical record. I didn't get to where I am in corporate America by being an accomplice to fraud. Sadly a VP of healthcare probably has plenty of funds to hire an aide to help while recovering. And decent odds on her already having some sort of household help. If not permanent staff. So even if her policy bites her in the entitled ass. It's still a far cry from the experience she's causing us regular folks. I had a C-section years ago. My hospital stay was five days. I would have in no way been ready to go home and take care of a newborn after two days. This is a prime example of why only doctors should practice medicine. Not people who write insurance policy. As a mom of twin boys with a strikingly similar experience. This makes me want to dance and sing. Sucks to be you. This doctor is my hero. As a side story. I went into early labor at 30 weeks and my insurance wanted to send me home before my labor was confirmed to be stopped. My doctor fought for my and my boy's health. How short-sighted that they would rather risk paying for a NICU of two babies versus another day or two for my hospital stay. True definition of idiots. Edit spelling woman facepalming medium light skin tone. Our leopards ate my face. My mother's older sister was a labor and delivery nurse and former army nurse. She firmly believed that every woman within hours of delivering should be up and walking around. No ifs ands or buts. That was until she had her first she told my mother that she wished she could apologize to every one of them. She was clueless. What was that? The consequences of my own decisions? 
How dare I allow myself to do that to me? It must be someone else's fault. This is inhuman, said the health insurance executive. As someone who had a C-section for my first in CA, and was discharged less than 48 hours after admission, I applaud those who forced the person responsible for that to suffer the consequences of their actions. Thank you. As a healthcare worker this story warms my heart immensely. Very rarely are these scumbags a victim of their own horrible policy making. It would Jave been great if you told her to suck it up and that she needed to remember that this was how she got where she was in corporate America. You are a healthcare god. My second pregnancy ended up being an emergency cesarean section. I was lucky to have delivered in a military hospital where the standard length of hospitalization after a c-section was five days. My first delivery was vaginal and that stay was three days. I managed a periodontal practice for about 10 years and some insurance companies drove me crazy. Aetna decided that no one needed a dental cleaning more than once a year as that was all they would cover. Standard of care for a patient is a cleaning twice a year however for a patient with periodontitis. The standard of care is four cleanings a year. Try explaining that one to your patient who thinks their dental insurance is great and will cover everything. I always say if Congress were forced to use Social Security and Medicare, it would get fixed quickly. The worst part is she learned nothing. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.